in this replay review, I'm going to show you how to not get booted by Gran. The story behind this match is that I've been losing to this person a lot. Goss the Ectoplasma in my stream or Graveyard aka Graveyard in Grand Blue. Yeah, they're a really good master rank Grand Blue. But so far throughout the past week, I've been training up, practicing my mix-ups on neutral and I'm managing to steal some wins now after losing, going on a huge losing streak last, last week. So here's a rematch. Believe in victory. Battle one. Got the hitboxes on. Okay. They start off with their light down special. It missed at first, but that's unreactable. And then he does the yeah, Gran got buffed to be able to do this in the last patch. Right? He's able to do the down special into the boot as a follow-up. But that's punishable at this range. So the first part hit whiffed and he whiff cancelled it into the boot. Alright. <coughs> oh. Gaza Ectoplasma says that's my color palette. Yeah, I'm doing a replay review. So. Oh, yeah, I have default turned on when I'm playing to see things better. But in the replay, no, it shows the actual color. So, Gran was minus 8 here. So that means some characters could punish with a close heavy or close medium. But I did a close light here because that's just the most reliable one. Gassi Ectoplasma says most of my boots are usually unsafe but usually gap cancelable as in when the first hit but then you can whiff cancel it or oh wait well, you know I'm not really sure what you mean by gap cancelable Because if they're minus, they're safe. But then if they're unsafe, I would be able to like punish and then you wouldn't be able to do anything after. Wait, so what is gap cancelable? As in DP auto overdrive surge or power raise unblock into boot. Oh, so you mean you're able to, yeah, so that's minus. So that would be something like minus four or something like that. So where you can use DP before I am able to take back my turn. They're saying that there's an opening that's usually, that's basically neutral, but only for specials. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a gap that where it could only in use invincibility to get through oh all right that's minus yeah but not something like minus six where a firelight could punish it all right so we'll go over into a punish combo here oh then that's the light down special or oh, that's the down special there To our run up into medium, then cancelled into the down special, and that is minus five. Huh? And that is minus five. All right, so I'll take back my turn here. Siegfried doesn't have something to punish minus five slide Belial, sadly. 
or at that range. I'm taking back my turn here into Oracan for some mix, which also frame traps. But then I waited. What waiting can do is give you a good punish on people who are trying to cross over, right? So you see, a crossover came out there. You can risk it and go for. Uh, oh, wait, no. The grand did cross over into heavy. Oh. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, re I reacted earlier than before. Yeah, I reacted before crossover ended. So, what I could do to get a guaranteed punish, even if Gran did a block, right, was throw there. But instead, I was going for the big damage there with a close heavy. So, if Gran blocked, they would have blocked the close heavy there. So, that's. Yeah, the only thing I could. Oh, wait. I could confirm into. Oh wait, all of my special, basically all of my specials are in cooldown there. Almost all. So I would need to combo into heavy DP there or use an old special for less damage. Yeah, the U, U down special would actually be good because it would have pushed Grand fully into the corner. So that's something I could do there. But yeah, I messed up on what special to end it there as I think what I was going for was HD, H Fireball, but that was on cooldown. You know, it almost came off of cooldown. Gasse Ectoplasma says 100% grabs beat most close range cross ups. Oh, crossover. Yeah, 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 yeah. It has 29 total frames, so you can definitely react to that. So then I was just trying to press a button here and make use of the extra frames from wait no it were even after that actually but i did a two well and then went for a dash light and it hit confirmed it same thing again yeah i could definitely get a corner combo right there but then the far light hit here so i guess i'm just getting lucky with my presses here grandma's going for a Crouching heavy. Or that was a heavy special. Heavy fireball? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Heavy fireball first in the input. I get some plus frames there. Okay, into dash light there. Wait. What happened right here? Oh, far like that I didn't confirm off of. Yeah, yeah. Dash light, far light, the loop continues. Grand breaks through through the loop with a brave counter. Run up far light. His turn. So I DP out. Okay, we'll go back into neutral now. So that's Gran approaching. What I could try to do is like a cover attack. An attack an attack that takes up space like my crouching medium. But I but I did not see it, it in time. Well it's still a guess because Gran could go get in range for his boot, which actually should go over my crouching medium. I think it should. So right, the dash goes off right here. Plus. 
Shimmy, expecting another DP. And then takes his turn with a, a standing medium into a fireball. But, yeah, peak Siegfried, peak Siegfried moment right there. So basically, any sort of gap that's reactable, Siegfried now has the, has the ability to punish it very well with a super. From basically absurd ranges, like I think it's close to around three characters away is the range. Either like two and a half or like three and a half, either one. It's alright. I start off my turn with a meaty close life. Then shimmy. Because when people are low on health, they tend to try to use reversals to get on more. Because, yeah, it's better to just take, yeah, in that situation, in that corner situation, barely any health to take a lot of bets on. It's trying to go for an option there. Oh, and it actually, and it was slightly delayed. But the super still came out. Alright, far heavy. Far heavy. Alright. Wait, what happened in that scenario there? Could I do a spacing trap here? Oh, wait. Alright, so Grant takes back his turn at minus four. Grant's far heavy is actually nine frames. If he did far heavy right away, could I hit it out of before it starts up? My at minus four. That's like a five frame window before the nine frame move hits. Yeah, I wouldn't really be able to use a six frame firelight before that. Alright, so I couldn't spacing trap in that situation. So that's power is Grand Zero. So in this scenario, it's kind of risky. It's basically a guess if you're trying to hit Grand out of this, right? Because as we see here, Grand can just end it and then attack, right? But a safer option is when you're at a certain range, when you're like outside of its range, which is close to about like one and a half and two characters away, something like that, right? You could try to use a fireball because Gran wouldn't be able to reach you with the attack anymore. And you'll be attacking with something that he can't just randomly hit you out of. But that's if, well, yeah, if you're out of range, the invincibility doesn't really matter as well. But he only gains invincibility if the meter is fully charged. Alright, that's the power ray sitting right there. Is it plus or minus here? It's about minus four. So it's my turn. So I take back my turn end it because i'm really looking out for dps there so i didn't so i didn't cancel into a move that leaves a gap so that's another crossover and i hit it this time but i should have actually just thrown because it would kill and would give me a better chance of hit hitting him all right this over yet. battle two Engage. So what's the round side option here? Right? Dash up, block. So, I did a far light. Like, here's an observation, right? I noticed that Gaussian ectoplasma like to... You know, some people go in more when they're running up right other people like to stay at a certain range more this might not be an exact science but i just feel like this gran like to 
actually close in a bit more so against people like that you could use an option that even though it has less range it leaves you less vulnerable so because i'm expecting him to come closer to me right i use a firelight and then the firelight connected right here and they were trying to use a dash light so yeah i was in range there because they were closing in more Against players that like to walk back a lot, closing in more is definitely a good option though. Because they might walk back, especially if it's on a faster character. The walking back might actually make your move whiff if you're trying to use it at the extreme edge of its range. But when the opponent is like standing still, right? It makes safer light moves better to use they can cover space with those more effectively at that sort of distance right so that's a cancel into heavy orcan and then after that siegfried can get a meaty close light even if the opponent back dashes you see it here meaty And that's a brave counter but i blocked the brave counter because i was expecting i was trying to do a shimmy there okay so here's a here's something on me now right i'm just maybe i just don't really want to use too heavy a lot or 2h i mean right because 2h would give me the opportunity to beat this jumping easier than the dp i think because for the dp i would have to decide on which side it is but at the same time dp would allow me to react later but no since crouching heavy would hit on both sides i could react earlier on that as well yeah i would need to react earlier with crouching heavy but with dp i could react later but I would need to know which side it is. So that's the trade-offs there. But a cr this, would, this would be a good range for a crouching heavy. But yeah, that's an autopilot delay tech. After that raging, sh after that brave counter, I was about, we were still plus after that, right? Yeah, there were still plus. So that's a jump, cross up. But the jumping was too high to actually combo. <coughs> or a combo from that so i'm getting into a block string right here they did two hits of the triple attack and then went back into a close light to reset their pressure basically then into a fire light then to a medium then getting then a, like a fake out power raise or grand zero charge So here is H boot, right? That you see at this range, it's what is this range actually? This is like either two Siegfrieds away or somewhere around two Siegfrieds away. Like imagine a Siegfried standing between Gran and Siegfried here, right? How many Siegfrieds could fit in this space? Like around, hmm, basically almost two. Yeah, almost two basically. So at this range, heavy boot has a chance to be plus. 
uh, but then the caveat to that is that it becomes more reactable at this range so i could actually dp it and it's not that hard to react to i think let's see how many frames it is before it connects with me that's 13 that's 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 yeah so 24 frames so that's reactable and then what's the frame data after so grand was minus one there so that's about even yeah minus one close to even but i could still actually pre actually press first there with a fast normal so i press but yeah that was a really late press and i didn't confirm it so 2m yeah grand's 2m is plus on block it's plus one like belial but it's not a low unlike belial so dash side pressure into grab i delay text there far light dash light i could rotate more options on defense to be honest with you all right far light so that's heavy fireball i could react to that and then dodge right there dash light so yeah i cracked there wanted to use a dp to get out but they predicted this or rotated their options well enough to shimmy and then bait my dp building sure combo Alright, I'm taking a lot of my health right there. Brave counter out. Dash light loops. And then what I was trying to do was get them to try to press at a bad moment. But then it didn't work. But I still have mix off of Orkan. So then I did the same trick there which was ending it. So crossover again. But I did not react this time. I, that wasn't in time though right yeah oh i i didn't react in time but the throw still went up all right back into the corner situation now so gran was thrown back into the corner here that's a spot dodge Close me, my far medium was out of range. Dash light. <coughs> Crossover. And then a close light. To be honest, I'm not sure. I don't really use crossover on offense a lot. Because I know it's so. Yeah. That's something that I don't really use quite a bit. But I know if the opponent isn't really pressing anything, it could be thrown. But it worked here. I'm getting comboed. Basically push into the corner. And the old faithful now, Raging Shark. My, br my brain refuses to react to it sometimes. All right, and then that's I'm the speechless. second round. Yes. Player one. Oh, the other chip, the audio chip, out right here. Okay, so you see here, right? This fireball is has fifty-five total frames. So. 
basically if you spot dodge on frame 20 you can be like plus seven so that's a punish with uh crouching medium on some characters and a sweep on others or a far light if you're close enough for that so yeah you can actually do a crossover and punish this move grand medium fireball it has enough total frames to punish it but i did not oh i wait i actually crossed over here all right but not in time grand runs up i pressed medium and it hit grand out of a sweep into a confirm with lightbox special oh yeah into a confirm with light box special right and then i run up with just some dash light offense so the fire light was out of range at that range and then wait was this a delay sweep or a mash sweep Oh, so that's a delay sweep right there. Yeah. So that would have beaten a shimmy as well. That's delay sweep into heavy boot. So boot is on cooldown for now. <coughs> into a run up, meaty close light. DP works here. Fireball. So I'm keeping up the fireball pressure right here. But one of the advantages of Gran is that he can win fireball wars with his medium fireball. Since as you see here, the, f the first hit of it can break down your fireball. Like even a heavy one. He can't break the ultimate ones though. But it breaks the light one right here. And then fires back with it with his own fireball. So I could dodge that. Alright, go back into neutral. So you see right there was a run up into stop right there earlier. And then I jump now. And I didn't react to it. Oh, but you see right there was like some of the time i do like when people jump in i'm trying to do heavy dp but then it's kind of later and right after it's blocked i'm doing dp so that's what happened there All right run up dash light but the dash light but the dash light was out of range here Here's actually a range where I could do a fire light to punish it. Yeah, I could fire light and punish it at this range. But that's that takes some reactions to do. So I continue walking back. Stop for a bit. Power is. So that should be punishable. Oh, but my mind was like, you know when you're just trigger happy or your brain is looking for something to react to. And then I'm just expecting a fireball right here. So I do a crossover. But it was po power raise. So now, Grand could actually punish, punish that crossover. But I keep it, I keep trucking. I let out a close medium there. into heavy fireball i'm like plus 12 or more so i stop for now expecting a dp because gase ectoplasma loves his dps they love their dps all right so here is another habit from them they like to use ultimate fireball from time to time. So that's partly what I was looking for. But I wasn't looking for it enough to dodge it. 
throw. Throw break. So right there, I could have been pressing some more to stop the advance. So pressing something like a far light, like we were talking about earlier. Against Gran getting close to my range. Something this Gran could do as well, right, is use dash light from further out. So, so guys, the ectoplasma could could do. Yeah, so you could do dash light from further away, and I think you could use dash M some more. Because dash M would allow you to use a normal like that from even from an even further distance away and trip people trying to walk back. All right. So here's the dash L. He's plus. Run up. I think they were going for a light. Yeah, or a dash light or something. So my delay throw goes off there. Put into put closer to the corner on the right side. Meaty close light. Into Orkan. Into the heavy follow-up. Here's an opportunity to where Grant could actually punish me. So I think this is in range for Grant to punish with his far light. So basically if Siegfried is close to you, like right beside you like does orkan after a triple attack and then does a heavy follow-up like that he's minus six and you should be in range to punish him with a firelight but on the other hand if it's after something like his far medium and you're spaced out and siegfried does that same special right you'll be too far away for the firelight to hit making it basically safe but minus so you could try to take back your turn there. But what can happen is that Siegfried can turn that situation into a spacing trap. So that's the mix there. A spacing trap where you'll be trying to get in range to use a certain move or you'll be using the move but it's out of range. And then Siegfried can do a move that can basically with punish your move or hit it or counter hit it something like that scenario could play out all right grand does a run up throw when i'm minus from that move but yeah this that's an autopilot raging strike that saves me sometimes Good. or autopilot brave counter i mean to say Plus on block, close, plus on block, crouching medium. Far medium. Yeah. Here's what I do here, right? I jumped back. I'm getting some space to like manipulate the spacing better. Because at that range, right? When you're like close to a person in grand blue, like within dash medium range, it's kind of like a coin flip in a way. It's hard, it's harder to manipulate than when you're further away. It's harder to really gain a specific advantage to me. Or that's like Siegfried things, characters that prefer to play more in the mid range and only be close to you when you're, when he's plus. But I'm back into my mid range zone right here. Heavy back special. I'm minus. They do a uh, old fireball. Into their heavy back special. Right? What's the frame data right here? Let's check it. Grand is minus three. Alright. So I'm taking back my turn right now. And then you sit there, I could react as well with a DP or even my super. 
mix-up, I should have turned that hit into more of a mix-up. Or that block into more of a mix-up. Rather than just going for a straight-up triple attack. So Grant takes back his turn now. Into a triple attack into low. And now it's my turn. But I didn't press right here. <coughs> and then Gran swings back with a far heavy. But I chose to chance it and then do a normal right after. And luckily Gran did a power, power raise or his U. Oh, but I didn't actually confirm it as well as, as I could have. Because at that health range, right? Could I? No. Super wouldn't kill. But I could get more damage by doing a crouching medium into a super. Right? Dashel. The Dashel hit? Didn't confirm. So that's another opportunity to kill last there. But what happened here? power is and then yeah that's a definite trick you can use in grand blue so you see when you're minus using a dp when you're minus because people will be trying to take back their turns a lot of the time but what happens is that what happened is that i was playing against ghastly ectoplasma a lot they were doing that sort of that sort of dp a lot so i'm just trying to play safe against it and it paid off right there. And now that's my punish. To close out the round. Finish. I'm sorry, everyone. <sighs> Each victory. Subscribe or follow on Twitch for more replay reviews just like this. This video is brought to you by my Patreon members, like Muscafal CH, Office Blade.